Hello and welcome. I'm David Lozada. And this is your 6 p.m. Ram. President Rodrigo Duterte will not honor international agreements binding the Philippines to limit its carbon emissions. Duterte says, quote, you are trying to stifle us in an agreement that you will stay this way. That's stupid. I will not honor that. He said, you signed. That was not my signature. Duterte is referring to an instance in which he was asked by an ambassador if the Philippines will be able to limit its carbon emissions. Duterte adds, quote, that's why I'm mad at this ambassador. I want to kick him. He was reminding me about these emissions, carbon footprints. Yes, we are a signatory there. And will you be able to contain your emissions? I said, no, I cannot tell. Duterte did not specify which international agreement signed by the Philippines the ambassador was referring to. But it is most likely the Paris Agreement on Climate Change, signed during the United Nations Convention on Climate Change, 21st Conference of Parties in France in 2015. Lawmakers will introduce bills seeking to establish a national identification or ID system for Filipinos in the Philippines and abroad. Outgoing House Speaker Feliciano Belmonte and ACOBICO Representatives Rodel Bacobe and Christopher Co. file separate bills for the Filipino Identification System Act. The House of Representatives passed bills creating a national ID system in the 16th Congress but were stuck at the Senate. Belmonte's proposal will consolidate all government-issued ID systems into one. Belmonte says, quote, The National Identification Card will lower costs, streamline transactions, and provide ease and convenience. World-renowned director Brillante Mendoza and Palace Communications Chief Martin Andanar visit the Plenary Hall of the House of Representatives a week before President Rodrigo Duterte is set to deliver his first State of the Nation address. Mendoza accepted Andanar's offer to direct Duterte Sona for free. Mendoza says, quote, I'm here as a director so we can reach the proper order of the shots and just to make sure also that we would be able to capture what kind of president he truly is. The filmmaker adds he does not plan to hold any rehearsals with Duterte prior to the Sona so he can capture the president's spontaneity. Beijing will close off access to part of the South China Sea for military drills. This after an international tribunal ruled against its sweeping claims in the waters last week. An area off the east coast of China's island province of Hainan will host military exercises from July 19 to 21. The Permanent Court of Arbitration ruled that there was no legal basis for Beijing's claims to much of the South China Sea. The Philippines, who filed the case against China, welcomed the decision as Beijing dismissed it as a piece of paste of paper. A SpaceX rocket carries a load of supplies to the International Space Station Monday, July 18. This includes a docking adapter that future spaceships will use to park at the orbiting outpost. After sending the cargo into orbit, the rocket successfully fires its engines again to maneuver its way back to land at Cape Canaveral in Florida. This marks the second solid ground touchdown for SpaceX. It is part of the company's efforts to reuse costly rocket parts instead of jettisoning them into the ocean. The docking adapter is the first of two to be sent to the ISS and will enable future arrivals by privately owned spaceships under construction by SpaceX and Boeing. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm David Lozada. Remember, tomorrow begins today.